Hey YouTube, I just wanted to uh, put together a quick video in response to uh, Silverfish's video this afternoon. Um, yes, that was kind of a joke at the beginning there. Since apparently people don't like the beginning of his videos. Um, but if you didn't see the video, um, he poses an interesting question that I kind of had to think about and some people might have to think about but it's what do you benefit from being a part of the silver stacking community that we have here on YouTube um, when I saw the video posted up I was like okay cool Silverfish got another video uh, and then I saw how many people were disliking the video and were talking crap about him and I guess I never really thought this was a negative community I I've never really had any problems here, but um, so I just kind of wanted to make a response video on what I benefit out of being in this community. Um, I wasn't going to do a full stack update for a while just because I don't really have that much, um, so I kind of wanted to, I guess, be impressed with myself. But I guess this is pretty impressive for me. Um, I've only been doing it for a little over two months, um, and something else we'll get to here in a minute there's been some reasons why I don't have very much expendable income but we'll get there in a minute um, but yeah this is what I've got in two months here um, but for the benefit okay um, when I first started watching some of the videos here on YouTube um, I had no idea what silver was what you know what the value of silver was I would have saw this, you know, working my part-time job. If somebody brought this in and wanted to buy a Coke or something, gave me this, I'd be like, oh, it's a dollar. whoop de doo I would have counted it as a dollar. I would have been one of those stupid people on those videos that has no idea what the value of British metals are. So, number one, that's what I've gained from being a part of this community. I have gained the knowledge to know what the value of this is and that there is more than just the dollar in terms of saving money or spending money there are more ways to save your money than just opening a savings account this is my savings account right now so that would be the first thing um, the second thing would be um, definitely motivation from some of these other guys that are on here um, I remember my first video, um, I didn't feel too happy with myself, I guess, because I was putting a video up of me getting this coin and this coin. That was it. That was my first video. I had two ounces of silver. So, um, this was something, uh, Shaolin mentioned in, a, I think, his last video, um, that he put up was talking about how investing in silver is definitely an accumulation. It's not, hey, I'm going to invest in silver, bam, here's a thousand ounces, now I'm done. It's something that's going to take a little while to do. Um, so, motivation, when I, whenever I'm putting up videos of unboxing one ounce or five ounces would be like a big one for me, like this prey bar, I just got that one in uh, last week, I think, yeah, last Friday. That's the biggest thing I've bought. It's just a little five ounce bar. Not that big of a deal. But, so that's number two, motivation. Um, the third thing, and I've heard people kind of hating, and by people I mean Rocky. Sorry, Rocky. But talking about why are you always asking questions? You feel obligated to ask a question every day, mainly towards Silverfish and Epic how they're asking questions to the community all the time. Um, but from a from my personal standpoint, I think that's something that I am gaining out of being in this community, is being presented with questions that aren't, hey, what did you buy? It's, hey, why did you buy that? Or, hey, why is, why is this coin, what is different about this coin right here in the silver stacking community? Why is that worth you know, almost four times spot. 
What is it about that coin or this coin that is so valuable? And I think having questions like that come up and actually thinking about it, you know, that is a benefit, you know, kind of being in the loop. It's like not living under a rock, I guess. Kind of like when you watch the news, you find out about things that are important. You find out about hot topics in the community, you know. So that's another benefit. Um, and I, every once in a while they don't put videos up asking a question or showing off silver. Sometimes it's posting videos that, you know, make me feel like I'm doing the right thing. Um, uh, I know Jose Rodriguez has put up a couple videos talking about how, you know, right now he just, he's kind of trying to find his reason for stacking silver again. Um, and I think he'll get there. Um, and there's nothing wrong with him taking a break for a little while. Um, I kind of want to take a break for a little while just because I'm spending all my freaking money. But at the same time, I realize I'm not spending my money. I'm converting my money from paper currency into a hard asset. And that is, you know, it, it, it's nice to hear every once in a while, you know, you're not just pissing your money away. You're not just some kid sitting in the basement buying coins and never goes outside and plays. Um, which was something else I kind of wanted to add into this video. Um, there's a lot of negative comments on Carlos's most recent video. Um, talking about what... You know, some people add in personal things and what that is going to, how that's going to change somebody's perspective of watching a video. Um, so, I've decided I'm going to get some of my other crap out and I'm going to put it in this video. Just see if it really makes a difference. I mean, it's cool. I like when people share their other stuff, but if you're in the silver stacking community and you're looking for silver, a lot of times you just want to see silver, but sometimes it's nice to see some of the other stuff that are people's interests in the community you know if a lot of people like silver that's cool if they also like knives that's cool too if they like guns go for it don't shoot your friggin leg off but go for it so I'm going to share some of my stuff and you're not going to pay attention to my room being dirty so here we go here's one thing I like vinyl records vinyl records I have some vinyl records and a bunch of other crap. There's my toolbox and look at this. Look at this. I like to paint. Apparently it kind of looks like I like to kill people, but this is the inside of my closet. I don't really like to kill people, but I just thought it was cool. It's my bedroom. I'm going to make it look like I killed somebody. It was fun when we had the carpet guys come in and he was getting ready to carpet the whole condo and we asked him if he would put tile right here on the floor instead of carpet. It was funny. Why not? So, as I mentioned in a previous video, I like wolves. So, there's this guy. I'm gonna have a wolf coin video here pretty soon. Maybe not. I don't know. I bought this at a truck stop because it was like $12 and I was like, dude, that thing is awesome. So I bought it. Um, next, I mentioned guns. Yes. I'm a gun person. So, uh, I don't really care if you know where I live because if you want to find my silver, you're also going to find me and all of this junk, which clearly I go on a regular basis. So, um, yes, this is my Glock 23 Gen 4. So there's that. Um, for the people that think that silver collectors sit inside all day, look at this. I'm going to have a golfer as well. And for anybody else that's a golfer, check that out. 36 pack of used Nike golf balls for 10 bucks. Yes. I bought two. Yes. Uh, let's see what else we got. Another record player, because why the hell not? I collect sand in Corona bottles. Every time I've ever been to a beach, I have sand in it. There was one time I got drunk and all I could find was this crazy Mountain Dew bottle, so I put sand in that. Uh, those are cards. Those are all, I mean, they're Marvel cards from when I was like 10. Who cares if I do that? Who cares? I, I'm not going to hate on you because you do that. I'm not going to call you retarded because you have these. 
whatever. I randomly draw a lot. I like Legos. I have a awkward obsession. Hey, what's up? I have an awkward obsession with Katy Perry. Don't hate. Whatever. Call of Duty. I'm a, I'm one of those guys. This is from the Call of Duty XP event in LA a couple years ago. Yeah, it was awesome. Did I spend too much money on it? Yeah, I did. If I'd known about silver at the time, I would have bought a kilo and still saved some money. All right. I do, uh, yeah, oh, I forgot to get out my, I play guitar and uh, record some of my own crap sometimes, which is cool. And this, this is almost silver, which is fascinating. Some people will like it, but this, this right here, yeah, I try to play trumpet. If uh, you think I'm weird for that, that's fine. If you're going to call me a retard for doing that, whatever. Doesn't mean I'm retarded, but... Yeah, I play trumpet. I could sell this and buy a kilo or two. I'm not going to. Anyway, so, uh, all right, that was my, my rant for that, but I also wanted to get back, and I'm also sweating like hell. You don't need to know this, but here we go. I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm sweating like hell because we don't have air conditioning in my condo. What's up? It's hot. <sighs> anyway. Uh, my last video I was talking about wanting to share a life, a couple life events. So I figured, what the hell, I'm already at 12 minutes, might as well do it now. So, I mentioned this earlier. This is to all the people that think stacking silver is stupid. Um, and this community is stupid. Um, I am thoroughly, 100% convinced that... Had I not been a part of this community, had I not started doing this uh, silver stacking, I wouldn't have found the videos online on YouTube here. I wouldn't have met the people that I've met on here. And all four of these credit cards would still have a balance on them. So if you can find a way to freaking figure these numbers out, I'm going to be pissed. But I took a Dremel and a marker to them. But I wanted to put this on YouTube. Shit. Well, not that one. One-handed again. Epic RV, let me borrow your tripod, bro. Okay, here we go. Bam. That one's gone. Never going to use that card again. This was fantastic because I got a bed out of it, but... We're done. We're done. This is the dirty whore that started it all. This is kind of a big deal for me. But, um... This is my first credit card. And, uh, it's finally paid off. And it's also done. Can you see my name on these cards? Yeah. I don't really care. You can probably figure it out from my, uh, from my screen name. D. Matthews. No, I'm not a Dave Matthews fan. My name's Daniel Matthews. Can't see the card number, so I don't care. So step off. But, um, yeah. This is part of the Silver Second community right here. I'm paying off credit cards. I'm paying off debt. Because I want to be financially sound. I want to be done paying the government money. And I want to hold my own money. I don't want them to control me anymore. So there's that part. The other part is... Um, I guess we don't need that on the box. But uh, this. Speaking of not being controlled. For those of you that don't know what this is... I have been, uh, this is a non-nicotine quit-smoking medicine. Um, I've been a pack-a-day smoker for a little over five years. Started taking this about two and a half weeks ago, um, and as of tomorrow, Tuesday, will be two weeks without a cigarette. That is a little over five dollars a day that I'm saving right now, which is why you've been seeing some, a little more unboxings from me, um, why I'm purchasing a little bit more is because I'm taking something that was killing me and wasting my money into I'm getting healthier and saving money. So I want to actually save the money. So, alright, this has been way too long of a video, so I'm going to stop.